Greetings, Japan fans. Today's show, we're going to talk about businesses disappearing in Japan. Maishu, arigato gozaimasu. And welcome back to the 11th year of the Leadership Japan series. I'm your host in Tokyo, Dr. Greg Story, Dale Kanye, Tokyo franchise owner, president of Dale Kanye, Tokyo Training, and the three-time best-selling author of Japan Sales Mastery, which is Zaegyo in Japanese, Japan Business Mastery, and Japan Presentations Mastery, or in Japanese, Anata mo Present no Tachiden. My other books include Stop Wasting Money on Training, which in Japanese is Training de Okani o Mudni Sunre wa Yamimasho. And my just released new book is Japan Leadership Mastery, and all are available on Amazon. This podcast brings insights, examples, and experience about leading in Japan. Trust me, it is different here. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast with your family, friends, and colleagues. We're not being sponsored by Libsyn. But we value your privacy, which is why we have our podcast hosted by Lipsyn. Unlike many other hosting organizations, Lipsyn have a strict policy that does not allow access to your private information by anyone. Here is our daily podcast lineup on Apple Podcasts. Mondays, the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show podcast. Tuesday, the Presentation Japan series. Every second Tuesday, the Business Touches in No Share Show. Wednesdays, the Sales Japan series. Thursdays, the Leadership Japan series, and every second Thursday, the Business Pro Podcaster Show. Fridays, the Japan Business Mastery Show podcast. Saturdays, Japan's top business interviews. Before we get going, today's handy Japanese phrase is. Yokate desu ne. Yokate desu ne. That's good. Yokate desu ne. You hear some good news? You want to say, hey, that's good. That's great. Hey, wonderful. Fantastic. Awesome. You can just say, Yokate desu ne. Yokata desu ne. Yokata desu ne. Hey, that's great news. Yokata desu ne. Hey, that sounds fantastic. Yokata desu ne. Yokata desu ne. Yokata desu ne. Now, this is episode number 569. 569. Today, we're talking about delegate or disappear in business in Japan. They're not making as many Japanese as they used to. Every year, we get these headlines about the new lows in numbers of births in Japan. The demographic trend is obvious to everyone. What is not obvious is how this is going to force a change in the way we lead. Until now, we have all applied the like it or lump it philosophy to staff working for us. They were infinitely replaceable. Lose one and go get another one. Not anymore. It's hard to understand, really. The economy is not doing remarkably well. The prospects for future growth are also not looking great. So why is it we are not seeing a parallel step down in business needs, which translates into less need for staff? I'm not sure. I know I like like to get the economists to duke that one out, but it is an interesting question to ponder. We are certainly seeing an uptick in demand for people and a corresponding downturn in their availability. That translates into higher costs, which is only starting to happen now, and increased competition for people. This is only related to the hiring. It also covers the retaining bit as well. The recruiters are having a field day with the revenues being generated from us for hiring staff. And there isn't much we can do about that in a staff bull market. What we can control is the retaining piece of the puzzle. Delegating work to staff is a critical part of that effort. Young people want to advance in their careers, and they want to be given responsibility for their work. Delegation serves both purposes well. The issue with delegation is that when done poorly, it can lead to problems. The biggest failure is selling the delegation to the person receiving it. It sounds simple, but so often this is not done at all or not done very professionally. Usually, the delegation process is a series of orders. Do this and do that type of thing. The person on the receiving end already has a job and may be thinking, wait a minute, I'm already busy. Why do I need to do your job as well? That would be a legitimate and logical conclusion having your boss dump their work on your desk. 
The selling component is making clear the benefit to the person receiving the delegation. There's usually a selection process for internal promotions, and the people making the decision want to know the new person can handle the task and they're not going to blow anything up. We are changing companies. When we get to the interview stage, they will ask about our experience. We're trying to step up and be able to reference completion of work at a level above where we are now. And this is an advantage. When it is put like this, people can understand how they can leverage these tasks at a future point and make it an advantage for themselves. Find out more. We come back from the break. Today's show is brought to you by our public courses, but we also do custom in-house programs. We do them in Japanese and we do them in English. We do them in our super safe classroom. We do them live online. The show today is being brought to you by the 24th of August, our Dale Kennedy course, 12 week version on September 12 and 13, we're doing high impact presentations. And 13th of September, we'll also start another 12 week Dale Kennedy course. Our website is www.dale-carnegie.co.jp. So that's www.dale-carnegie, C-A-R-N-E-G-I-E dot C-O dot J-P. You can email me at greg.story at dalecarnegie.com. So that's G-R-E-G dot story, S-T-O-R-Y at dalecarnegie.com. If you like learning by watching videos, then we have over 2,300 there for you at Tokyo Japan Dale Kani TV on YouTube. We release three shows every week on YouTube. The Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. That's the premier business show on Japan every Monday, Tokyo time. Fridays, we have the Japan Business Mastery Show. And on Sundays, we release Japan's top business interviews, where I interview leaders from SMEs right up to the corporate captains of industry on one topic, leading in Japan. Now, every second Thursday, we release the Business Puro TV show. Don't forget to grab my business best-selling books on Japan on Amazon, Japan Sales Mastery, which is Saegyo in Japanese, Japan Business Mastery, and Japan Presentations Mastery, or in Japanese, Anata Mo Presen no Tachijin. My other books include Stop Wasting Money on Training, which in Japanese is Training de Okani o Mudni Suru wa Yami Masho. And my just released new book is Japan Leadership Mastery. And all are available on Amazon. Welcome back. The other negative aspect of delegation is boss abandonment. You're handed a bunch of tasks by your superior. And that is the last you hear about it until the completion deadline. This is very dangerous because if the person takes the project off on an incorrect tangent and you hit the deadline, then there is little which can be done to salvage the wreckage. Now, there is a balance between the boss interfering and micromanaging the delegated project and keeping an eye on how things are going. The latter is obviously the way to go, but where is the line between them? One good idea is to discuss how they are going to approach the task. Get them to tell us what they think about running this part of the work. We want their ideas, because that is where the ownership is located. We still need to monitor progress, though. Agreeing a regular check-in is a good practice. All the boss is looking for is whether the project is on track. There are many ways to the top of the mountain. We have to let the delegated person find that out for themselves as part of the learning process, rather than being prescriptive about how to get there. If we get both the sell, the delegation part, and the shepherding component right, then the delegation will be successful and help us to retain staff. The team member will feel empowered, trusted, and valuable. These are all brilliant and required elements to keep people with us and not straying off to greener pastures. We must deny the siren call of ravenous recruiters trying to lift our people out of our companies. If we don't start delegating, we will lose staff, find it hard to get new staff, and gradually shrink in size. In turn, this will make us less attractive as a work destination as we become too flat to be able to accommodate ambitious people. It is a cycle which ultimately leads to 
oblivion. Thank you for joining the Leadership Japan series. If you found the program useful, then tell your family, friends, and colleagues. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast. You can contact me at greg.story at dalecarnegie.com. Our website is www.dale-carnegie.co.jp. Until the next episode, take what you thought valuable, put it into action, because idea application is what makes winners winners. So be one of them. Remember, I'm in your corner, your go-to guy for soft skills training in Tokyo, committed to your success here in Nippon.